Hello everyone, welcome to another very very exciting tutorial. Uh, if you have subscribed to my channel, you already know that a couple of days ago I created a tutorial on how to create like some sort of an autocomplete suggestion box. Uh, so if you haven't watched that tutorial, it's very important that you go ahead and watch that. I'm just going to go ahead through the code a little bit and describe what it does. But if you haven't watched that, that video is a necessity before uh, seeing this tutorial. Uh, please go ahead and check that out first. So if you remember, what we created, it, it was like a uh, search input and a suggestion, suggestions panel. And then we styled it so that it uh, sort of becomes something like this. But also in JavaScript, what we did is that we defined some sort of a in memory, let's say, uh, variable or constant in this case called countries. And we added four countries, right? And then we made a reference to search input and the suggestions panel. So this is search input and this is the you know suggestion panel. And then what we did was that we added an event listener on the search input uh, key up and then basically we got the value here we sort of looped over and filtered uh, these values based on uh, the thing that we type over here so basically when we filtered it we take the name from the countries we made it lower we made it lowercase and then if it starts with our input so actually uh, in the previous tutorial it was like this so our input uh, we basically loop over and create a div, attach it to the added, append it to the suggestions panel, and that was about it. So we uh, we got a request that uh, somebody asked, can we make it so that when we actually hover on the selected and uh, you know click the uh, click the selected one, uh, this basically fills the value over here. So I'm not only gonna do it. Uh, do this today, but also I'm going to show you how you can use your keyboard arrows uh, to kind of uh, go over this and uh, auto select the value, right? So let's get started. What I need to do is basically attach an event listener to all the divs. So, for example, for type A, we have two. So I need to uh, attach an event listener to these uh, divs, and then when the the, the event listener is going to be click and then when you click on it you want to change the value of the search input to the value of this right but the most important thing is that we created these divs dynamically so as you can see initially they are not in the markup so with that said in javascript when you create a an element dynamically you can't attach event listener to it instead what i'm going to do is I'm just going to attach an event listener to the document. So add event listener. And then obviously the second parameter is a function with the event object. Now I need to sort of, if, when I click, I need to see if the click of the, uh, you know, when the click is the target is any of these divs, then I would like to do the operation of maybe, you know, basically uh, filling the value of the input based on the values. Uh, in order to do that, right now we just create a div. I would like to just uh, add uh, a class, so set attribute class, and then say maybe something like suggestion, right? So now if you notice, if I type A and using Chrome I inspect, you will see that each of the divs here will have the class suggestion, right? And then when I do the document add event listener click, which is basically clicking on anywhere in the document, I just need to check if e dot target dot class name is equal to suggestion, then it means that I clicked on one of these one of these divs over here, right? So what I need to do, I just need to do because we have a reference uh, to the search input, I just do search input dot a value equals to e dot target dot inner html right so now if i say you and then click on this you will see that it fills uh, the value of this inside the search input there obviously what i need to also do is to get rid of this suggestion panel in order to do that we need to add uh, we need to first hide the suggestions panel, right? 
So I'm just going to say display none. And then here I will add a class show to the suggestions panel and make the display to be block, right? So initially it's going to be display none. Now our initial code will not work. If I type U, S, nothing shows up, right? Because the display is none. So I need to make sure when I start typing, I add this show so that the suggestions panel get display block and cons consequently shows uh, to my JavaScript every time I do key up. So now I can do suggestions panel, which we have the reference over here, class list dot add, and then I just add show, right? Now, when I start typing, you'll see that it calls this and adds the show, and then it makes the display block. And now, if, when I do the document event listener click so that I select this, what I can just do is basically do the same thing, suggestions uh, panel dot class list, and now I can remove the class show, right? So as you can see, U S and then if I click on this, you can see not only the input gets filled with the inner HTML of our target, right? But also the suggestions panel uh, show class gets removed. So if, for example, if I choose uh, A, which we have two uh, countries that starts with A, I can basically click on this one and then the same thing. Now, the, the thing is that now if I start, like I'm, I'm pressing backspace now, you can see that nothing gets shown. The reason being is that we initially, when I started typing, we are doing it in a lower case. But when you click on this, you will see that the input becomes uh, different in this in our case so it starts actually with the capital A and obviously when we do this what we do here in order to filter it we uh, basically convert these to lowercase but not the input so input has a, a capital A here so what I need to do is also making sure that not only the country names get uh, lower to lowercase but also my input becomes lowercase so I will do lowercase here as well and now if I do a and choose Armenia if I go ahead and you know uh, remove this you will see that it still works right so this is the way we add the event listener click to uh, the elements here right so if I say um, India and click you'll see that it selects it now the next thing just to make sure that we have created a complete uh, you know autocomplete suggestion box is that I also want when I type a I would like to use the arrow keys in my uh, on my keyboard to sort of uh, select Argentina or Armenia and go up and down in the list so the easiest way is that I will add an event listener to the input the same way we have we already have the event listener we need to make sure that we check what kind of key is pressed so i'm just going to do if um e dot key is equal to arrow down what i need to do is basically i'm just going to try to show you one uh, use case so i just need to do suggestions panel dot children because obviously when we add the divs we add it to the suggestion panel so they become the children of the suggestion panel and i'm just going to go hard code the first child and then uh, i need to add a class because if you notice here let me just comment this out if you notice here when i type a and go with the mouse over them we have a hover class that changes the background uh, to blue so I just need to make sure that I not only have a hover on the divs within the suggestions, uh, but also within the suggestions panel, but also I want to make sure that I define a selected as well, right? So now in my JavaScript, when I press the arrow down key on my keyboard, I'm just going to say change the class list or add to the class list of the first children uh, the selected class right so now if I say a 
and press the arrow key down, nothing works because it's going to not only check this if but goes through all the code here. I just need to return here so that we don't uh, go ahead and uh, run these operations. So now if I say U and press the arrow key, I literally press the arrow down key right now. You can see that the first element of the suggestions panel children will get the class list selected, right? So now what happens if I have two? So if I have A, because we have Armenia, if I press down, you will see that it flicks the first one, but if I press again, nothing happens, right? So in order to fix that, we need to basically define a variable. I'm just going to define a variable called a suggestion, or I would just call it selected suggestion index, right? And I would set the value minus one, right? Now, when I press arrow down, I want to make sure that the value selected suggestion index becomes, uh, we add basically one to the selected suggestion index, right? So plus one. So now it's pretty much the same thing. It's instead we are using a variable which is initially minus one. And when we press arrow down, we add one to it, which, uh, which becomes zero. And then I would just replace this with selected suggestion index. Now, uh, the same thing will happen if I press down. But then again, if I press again, you will see that it also goes and selects the second one, right? Now to fix this, we want to make sure every time we select the arrow down or uh, arrow up, uh, which we will add later, we want to basically remove the selected uh, class from the ones that were selected. So I'm just going to create a function, reset selected uh, suggestion. And then here, I know that I, I do suggestions panel that uh, I do, I do a for loop. So I do for var i equals to zero to i less than suggestions panel dot children uh, i plus plus and then i do say suggestions panel dot children i dot class list dot remove selected right so where well, i have created a function reset selected suggestion i loop over all the children's of the suggestion panel which are the, you know the elements that get suggested here and I just remove the class selected so now every time I press the arrow key down I just want to call this reset uh, reset selected suggestion right so now you can see that if I type a I press one time it chooses Argentina and then if I press second time it will choose uh, well let's see what didn't go so well. Obviously, when I do for loop, I need to say i less than the length of the children. So now if I say a one time, arrow down, and then second time, you can see that uh, it selects Armenia. Now, if I press again, this index will get increased. As you can see here, I just increase it. But obviously, I only have two elements over here. So what I need to do is check if the selected suggestions index gets more than the length of the children of the suggestion panel. I just do nothing. In order to do that, I'm going to use a ternary operation, as it's called. So I will, instead of just adding it like this, I would do a check. So if selected suggestion index is more than the length of the suggestions suggestions panel dot children dot length right so if it the selected suggestions index which gets increased every time we press the arrow down if it's more than the suggestions the children dot length minus one because the length is always uh, you know if we have two elements it will become two but the index starts from zero so we have to subtract one from it. So in this case, we just do uh, increase the selected suggestion index by one, right? So I'll do just by one. Otherwise, 
I would make sure that the value of the selected suggestion will actually be suggestions the children length minus one, right? So if you're not familiar with the ternary operation, what it really does, it's like an if and else. So basically we check a, a condition here if the selected suggestion index is more than the children dot length dot minus one, well basically not more than but less than, so meaning that we are in the range, we increase the value by one. Otherwise we just set the value to be the max, right? So now if I type A, one time arrow, Argentina, second time arrow, and now if I press, I'm just pressing arrow down, it will just set the value to the biggest number, uh, which is one in our case, right? Now, what about arrow up? I can basically copy this and then paste it here. Instead of arrow up, I do uh, arrow down, I do arrow up. Here, instead of writing selecting the selected suggestions index more than suggestions children length, I just do more than zero. If the selected suggestion index is more than zero, right? Um, increase it by, uh, decrease it by minus one, right? Otherwise, set it to zero, right? So when we arrow up, when it becomes the first element, we just set it to zero. Otherwise, we decrease the value, right? And we put it over here. Now, if you notice, if I choose uh, A, let's see, maybe we have a, a little bit of a bug over here. Of course, I need to close the parentheses. So if I press A, one arrow down, Argentina, second arrow down, Armenia. Now, if I do arrow up, if I press arrow up, you will see that it selects Argentina. And now I'm pressing arrow up multiple times, it will reset the value to zero. And therefore the Argentina will remain selected. And now arrow down, arrow up, arrow down, arrow up. The next thing is obviously when we uh, use the keyboard to select these, we press enter to make sure that that value uh, gets selected over here. So I would like to have another if, but instead this one will be enter. So when I press on enter, uh, when I'm on this element, what I need to do is basically set the value. So I'm just going to do um, search input dot value. I want to make it suggestions panel dot children selected dot inner HTML and ultimately I also want to close the suggestion panel, which we do it over here, right? So I will copy it to the enter. And now if I choose A and go down one time, two time, press enter, you'll see that Armenia got selected. Now I can go back, select Argentina uh, here. You'll see that Argentina gets selected. The important thing is that now if I start pressing A, if I choose, uh, if I if I select the arrow down, you will see that it, instead of choosing Argentina, it started choosing Armenia, which means that we have to reset the counter when we press the enter. So we initially set the value to minus one. We also, when we already have done our selection, we also need to make sure that we set the value again to one. So now if I do A, choose Armenia, going back again, and then press down. Now, instead of Armenia, Argentina will be selected, which is the correct order, right? So now you can see that we have a full fledged uh, drop down menu, uh, sorry, autocomplete menu. And uh, there you go. Uh, if you have any comments, any questions, please go ahead and put it in the description. Uh, if any of this was unclear for you, please don't hesitate uh, asking it in the comment section. I really want all of you guys to understand what is happening over here and let me know if you like the tutorial, please like and share. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and do. Uh, and I hope you have a great day and night. Goodbye and see you next time.